Hey guys, what's up? It's Vampire Bride, and this October I have a truly horrifying story about the current state of my PC. I hope you enjoy the video. So I recently put out a video saying that I had gotten a 1080 Ti Seahawk after my 980 Ti had burnt up, but that my processor was bottlenecking my system, so I then needed to replace the processor, the motherboard, and the RAM. Well, I got the new build together, and it worked great for a bit. We were even able to delay the processor and get some specs, including overclocking. But that's when all hell broke loose. Unbeknownst to us at the time, the processor had shorted out and it was causing the PC to not be able to boot. I immediately started to troubleshoot the PC one piece at a time. My initial thought was that it was the graphics card because the computer was not doing the beeping sound that it usually makes when something is not connected properly. Also, all of the fans were on, all the LEDs were lit up, and the monitor would light up and act like it wanted to do something, but then it go black again, signifying that maybe it wasn't getting a good connection with the graphics card. But that was incorrect. After messing with all of the connections for the graphics card, I noticed that the CPU malfunction light was red lit up on the motherboard, meaning that something was wrong with the CPU. The computer wasn't getting far enough in the boot sequence to make the computer beep, which admittedly I should have noticed sooner. I immediately went back and bought another i7-8086K because I really wasn't done working with it. I enjoyed the progress that it made in my PC and delitting it and getting all the overclocking specs. It was just becoming a really good processor. Plus now I would be able to compare the old 8086K that shorted out with the new one that I would be putting into my computer. At this point I was just really hoping that it didn't take the motherboard or the RAM out with it. After the new 8086K processor arrived, I popped it into the computer, but sadly there was no boot. I immediately went to blaming the motherboard, thinking that it must have shorted out as well. That when the processor shorted out, it took the motherboard with it. So I went and bought another of the same motherboard. I continued to fidget with the PC to make sure the RAM or any other component wasn't the culprit. I was doing this outside of the PC case just so that I had a little more freedom and wiggle room and wasn't having to take everything in and out in those close dimensions. As I was messing with the RAM, moving it into a different RAM slot to see if possibly the RAM slot had gotten messed up, the computer would get further and further in the boot process. And by that I just mean that the monitor would stay on for a bit longer, acting like that it was really gonna boot. I found this very peculiar as I was messing with the same components as I had just tried to start the computer with while it was in the computer case. So I put everything back how it is supposed to be, except for it was out on my table instead of in the PC case. And surprisingly, it booted. I checked the BIOS and everything looks good. So I went ahead and booted it to Windows. Ever since, everything has been working just fine, except my computer is now laid out on my table instead of nicely wrapped up in a case. On the bright side though, I am getting some pretty good temps with this open air PC. I was able to cancel the order on my motherboard and concluded that it was something within the case that was actually fried and that is why the computer would not boot. I will probably leave it out this way until I figure out the case I want and of course get it ordered. I was just happy to have my computer up and running even if it is just laid out all over the desk as it had been down for almost two weeks. Anyways, that is my little PC horror story. Happy October, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, and of course, subscribe for more videos to come.